Welcome everyone to the first episode of a, another series on my channel, which is the Simon FC Crew Mode, where I, Sir JTB, will be taking on the task of managing Simon FC, create a club down in EFL League 2, going to be a one-star team, but I did this previously on FIFA 22, thought it was pretty fun, decided, you know, why not try it on FIFA 23, so yeah, obviously, home kit, black, I decided to go for white for away. And third kit went for the blue, which kind of like the side plus logo. And obviously green goalkeeper kit. Crest is that that's as close as I can possibly get it to be. Actually, it's what they used to used to, used to use back in Pro Club day, so I'm okay with that. And of course, the home stadium is the Valley. And this is the team that we are starting with. Not exactly the greatest, considering to start things off. I think I'm gonna run a standard 4-4-2. We do have good goalkeeper and center backs, but. That left back is a 52 overall. We have a 53 overall center mid, 54 overall right mid. The squad definitely needs some improvements. And the first improvement to be made will be Carlos Chor joining us from some random team, I don't know where, for just over 400k. I mean, fitting in right there, right back. Nothing too special about him, but I think he has 75 potential plus dynamic potential. Should do well for us. A very good mainly defensive right back for the team. Also joining us is Sanders Nyabo from Lingby BK over in, I believe, Denmark for just under half a mil. Central midfielder, obviously playing a 4-4-2, need two very good box-to-box -box center mids. And he has 77 pace, which definitely, definitely is going to help. And he's a very good all-around central midfielder. And joining the team as well is Liam Chipperfield from FC Basel. He's Swiss. And he's very good. He's technically a center mid, but I'm going to be playing him at right mid because he kind of fits the bill of that right mid. He's not exactly as pacey as Nyabo is in the central midfield, but I want Chipperfield playing out wide because he has a little bit better of crossing stats. And obviously playing a 4-4-2, need to be able to cross. And joining the team is, as well as Hart, Harry Leonard from Blackburn Rovers. Price just under half a mil. I mean, he's quick and he can score. That's really all we need from our striker. He'll fit perfectly up there with Fisher. He already has a natural four-star weak foot, so I don't think I'm going to have to waste the development plan on him to get that up. And his shooting is already good. Passing is a little low, which is a little concerning to playing in this 4-4-2. But if we ever do switch to having a system where we only have one striker up top, that will not be an issue. And Yannick Voigt from FSV Swaku over in Germany, the third tier, I believe, for half a mil. Go on the left, left footed. He's quick and he can dribble. Exactly what we want. Matthew Dillon will be departing the club for just over, well, 330k. Leo Jeffrey for 140k. And I think our final addition is going to be Leroy Quadwo. MSV Duisburg over in Germany, 400k. He doesn't have great potential, but he's a 62 overall who is 75 pace. He's very physical. And I've played enough. Career modes where in, our, in Road to Glory is where you start bad teams. You really just need your defenders to be athletic. And that's pretty much what he is. So I don't really care about the defensive stats right now. And with the remaining money, sending a four-star, four-star scout into England. I will be scouting in England, Nigeria, and India once we have the chance. And you'll get a little bit bigger of a bid budget, better youth academy scouts. But for as of now... We're just going to stay in England. And now it's time for our first game of the episode as we travel to face Colchester at the Colchester Community Stadium. As you can see, we're going for our best lineup. We want to see if we can get results early. Here are the highlights. Might be able to get in behind the defense. A chance to whip it in. Terrific block. The pressure was high and they could be in here. Beautifully disguised ball, chance maybe, and it's there for him, well it's all. Made good use of it, they really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. It's really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Dangerous ball, it's an opportunity, and it goes!
tremendous block. Alex Newby. Can he take advantage? Oh, and it goes! Advantage. Can he do it? And the keeper there to deal with it. Will he? Oh, Barry! Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And they got into that crossing position, but dealt with defensively. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. It's looking promising. And there it is! So we lost the game 6-1, to one, which is a uh, pretty horrible way to not only start a series, but first game that I've played with the club. So hopefully we can do better in our next game against Tranmere Rovers. First home game at the Valley. Have to put on a show for all the fans. Here are the highlights. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and. Can he take advantage? A goal in the early stages. Yeah, but no one able to capitalise. Cross blocked. And it's gone behind for the corner. Well, it's a great chance here, and don't these fans know it? Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a goal here! Bristow. And Hughes has it. Now, let's see what they can do here. Chance to cross. And this would reduce the deficit. A goal. Morris. And very deftly cut out. How can he take them on and beat them? He's got to score! Oh! Leroy Kvadvo. It's there for him! And there it is! Three goals! So we won this game 4-1. to one. Much better of a result compared to the last game in first home game have to put on a show for all the fans and now it's time to face off against Leighton Orient who I'm kind of considering a rival kind of not considering the relationship with the sidemen but decided we, of all the games to play I should probably play against them and switching things up a little bit in the team switching from that basic 4-4-2 to a 4-1-2-1-2 wide I know the sidemen have used it in their pro clubs a lot I've used it in FIFA before it could be good it could be bad but Miller's as a defensive mid, Nyabo is moving up to attacking mid. And it rises until the game started. For some reason, since I switched formations, it, even though I'm still using a four back, FIFA has decided to completely change around my back line. So it's meant to be the normal one, but don't worry, I fixed it a couple minutes into the game. Here are the highlights. here with six minutes play. There's no wasting time here, Derek. Thanks as always, Alex. Running with the ball confidently. Must be! And a goal! James. Paul Smith. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Can they square the game? And it goes! The to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. In behind for him to chase. And he's through! An accurate cross. Can he finish this? And that's the hat trick! Come back with 73 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. And scope for them to produce something exciting. It might be! And a goal! Defending it was. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And he's through here. Surely. Oh, tremendous goal! So we lost this game 4-2. to two. I mean, their striker, Drenon, or 
however you say his name was very very good this game but have a chance to get another redemption you know, at least finish off this episode even playing a game against Sutton United they're playing a 4-4-2 we're also kind of playing a 4-4-2 hopefully this will work here are the highlights Fisher on the ball well he's got past his man still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead wonderful chance Roberts, teammates available, excellent vision, he's waiting in the middle, this could have possibilities. To this game with that goal, because up to that point they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. Well that is how to, can he put it in? A goal here! Struggle to get it away properly. What late in. The space opened up. He took his chance superbly. They've brought it back to 3 2 with 86 minutes on the clock. Alex keeping us right up to date. Can he put them in front? He does. And so we won this game 3 2 thanks to that late effort from Fisher and Leonard as we advance. And we're now technically, we win every game we play at home, lose every one we don't, so I think we just need to work on that a little bit. But yeah, certain, currently in the league are in 6th place, 10 games in, which is pretty good. I think we should get promoted this year, but really just want to be in that kind of mix as things currently stand. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, I'm trying something new again. Hopefully it'll work a little bit, just really struggling with ideas. Finally decided to stick with this one, and hopefully it works. And hopefully you guys did enjoy, and make sure you guys subscribe to see more videos, and I'll see you all in the next video.